we're asked to name an angle adjacent to angle BGD. So angle BGD, let's see if we can pick it out. So here is B, here is G, and here is D right over here. So angle BGD is this entire angle, this entire angle right over here. So when we talk about adjacent angles, we're talking about an angle that has one of a, its rays in common. So for example, try angle AGB has one of the rays in common. It has GB in common with angle BGD. So we could say angle AGB, AGB, which could obviously also be called angle BGA. BGA and AGB are both this angle right over here. You could also go with angle FGB because that also has GB in common. So you could go angle FGB, which could also be written as angle BGF. Or you could go over here, angle EGD shares ray GD in common. So you could do this angle right over here. Angle EGD. Or you could go all the way out here, angle FGD. Angle F. GD, these last two sharing ray GD in common. So any one of these responses would be would be would satisfy the question of just naming an angle, just naming one. Let's do this next one. Name an angle vertical to angle EGA. Angle EGA. So this is this angle. This is this angle right over here. And the way you think about vertical angles is imagine two lines crossing. So imagine two lines crossing just like this. And they could literally be lines. And they're intersecting at a point. This is, forming four, this is forming four angles, or you could imagine it's forming two sets of vertical angles. So if this is the angle that you care about, its vertical, axis, its vertical angle is the one on the opposite side of the intersection. It's one of these angles that it is not adjacent to. So it would be this angle right over here. So going back to the question, a vertical angle to angle EGA, well, if you imagine the intersection of line EB and line DA, then the non-adjacent angle formed to angle EGA is angle DGB, actually what we already highlighted in magenta right over here. So this is angle DGB, which could also be called angle BGD. These are obviously both referring to this angle up here. Name an angle that forms a linear pair with angle DFG. So I'm just in a new color. Angle DFG. DF, oh sorry, DGF. Yeah, all of these should have G in the middle. DGF. So linear pair with angle DGF. So that's this angle right over here. So an angle that forms a linear pair will be an angle that is adjacent where the two outer rays combined will form a line. So for example, if you combine angle DGF, which is this angle, and angle DGC, then their two outer rays form this entire form this entire line right over here. So we could say angle DGC, angle DGC, or if you look at angle DFG, you could form a line this way. If you take angle AGF, so if you take this one, then the outer rays will form this line. So angle AGF would also work. Angle AGF. Let's do one more. Name a vertical angle to angle FGB. FGB. So this is FGB right over here. You can imagine this angle is one of the four angles formed when CF, let me highlight this, when C, that's hard to see, when CF, when CF, this is the last one so I can make a mess out of this. That angle is formed when CF and EB intersect with each other, intersect with each other, and four angles are formed. The one in question, FGB, these two angles that are adjacent to it, it shares a common ray, and then the vertical angle, the one that sits on the opposite side, so this angle, this angle right over here, which is angle EGC, or you could also call it angle CGE. So angle CGE.